Good morning, everyone. Before we turn the floor over to our wonderful yearbook staff, uh, we have a couple of students of the month to announce. And since we're going to be losing our seniors really soon, we figured we would do the June Student of the Month as well. So bear with me while we recognize three fantastic students. So dating all the way back to April, we missed this one for some reason. Our April Student of the Month is a sophomore who just came to the Black Raider family this year. She is a wonderful student who is always prepared for class. She loves class discussion and participates to the fullest. She works well with her peers, and I believe she has earned the respect of both her teachers and her peers as a devoted scholar. Teacher number two said, this student has an insatiable hunger for learning, reading, and expanding her knowledge of the world. Her inquisitive mind is always active, she never misses an opportunity to ask relevant questions, and her passion for learning and her positive attitude are contagious in the classroom. She is enthusiastic and supportive of others, and for these reasons, I would like to nominate Juliana Fournier as student of the month. teachers. Sometimes we take for granted when an individual is, by their very nature, an, exception, an exceptional human being. Of course, we should not do this, but we do. This is an opportunity for us to recognize what an exceptional person we have in our presence with this young man. He is smart, funny, personable, genuine, committed, and incredibly kind. Our school and our community as a whole benefits from him being part of it. He has been a quiet but very important leader in what has been a very trying year for all of us. Teacher number two says, The May Student of the Month is a tremendous example of what a Student of the Month should be. A fantastic young person who often flies under the radar and doesn't get the credit that he deserves. The Student of the Month is literally the kind of student who makes teaching enjoyable. I mean this with all due respect, but he is almost like a dog on how consistently pleasant, cheerful, and gentle-spirited he is on a daily basis. I don't know if I've seen a trace of negativity from this student all year, and he has had a straight A in my class for all four quarters. He is consistent, he is serious, he is involved, he is a leader, and he is Owen Shukar. Yeah. All right, so let's close it up with our June Student of the Month. Our June Student of the Month always gives her best effort in class. She is quiet, yet adds great insight into class discussion. She is prepared for class, communicates with teachers when she will be out, and passes work in on time. She is friendly, helpful to both teachers and her peers, and I am proud to announce that Bianca Akoa is our junior. Mr. LaChapelle, I'm going to turn it over to your crew. Alan Rogers, here you go. Alrighty. Welcome to the presentation of the 103rd edition of the Periscope, Winslow High School's yearbook. It's been a while since we've been able to have the yearbook assembly, so the yearbook staff hopes you're as excited as we are to be out here today. 
At the beginning of the school year, the staff came up with a bunch of ideas for a theme, but one really stood out. Winslow Strong. Themes are supposed to represent the spirit of the year, and when you see the yearbook, I think all of you will agree that Winslow Strong does exactly that. Grace Campbell will now present the first, the first yearbook. <laughs>
Coach Baldwin was a devoted husband and father, always giving the best opportunities to his sons. His pride in his school and his students and the community and his athletes make him the perfect choice for this year's theme, Winslow Schoen. As Coach said, legacy is not leaving something for people, it's leaving something in people. Mr. Baldwin's own legacy is beyond Schoen itself. Accepting the dedication award and Mr. Baldwin, is Mr. Baldwin's wonderful wife, Jill, and her son, Andrew. Uh, Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your day. 